Hello, hello, everybody. It's Dixie. Crafting with Dixie. Hi, guys. How are you tonight? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I tried making this video yesterday, and uh, I think on my third take of this video, um, my second to my oldest brother, Mike, um, called me, and I think it was like around 5.30 p.m., and I was in the middle of doing a video, and I paused it, and I lost it, guys. So I don't know where it went. Um, when I went to find it, he had me on the phone for seven and a half hours, you guys. That's the longest I've ever been on the phone with anybody. But he was upset about his daughter and wanted advice. And I don't know how helpful I was. I really couldn't give him a whole lot of uh, advice because I'm going through the same stuff with my own children. And... Um, I have a daughter, my youngest daughter, who, who is involved in drugs and stuff, and um, his daughter's not involved in drugs, but is is becoming involved with a young man who is. So um, she doesn't understand what she's getting herself into, and um, wants her daddy to butt out of her business because she feels like she's an adult. And in, in my brother's eyes, as long as he's paying all of her bills and uh, her schooling and everything, she he doesn't consider her an adult until she's paying for her own way. So he was asking me advice on how he should handle the situation. And I told him I felt, you know, if she wants to um, say that she's an adult and he needs to butt out, then maybe he needs to pull his money too, you know. I told him I said it's called tough love and um, it, you know I guess you know she wants to go you know hundreds of miles um, out, out of town to go to go visit with this boyfriend to go see this new boyfriend and um, this 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 boyfriend is telling her to ditch her family and ditch her friends and um, ditch her schooling and she just started college and he you know with all kinds of scholarships and um, this boy has already told her to ditch her family and uh, you know that her parents were too controlling and that you know she needed to ditch her parents that she needed to ditch her friends and um, not be able to hang out with with her friends and um, and then I guess he's a gamer and he does his uh, does his drugs and then um, plays his games and I guess he tells her she can't make a word or a sound you know she she can't even make a phone call to her friends or nothing one while he's playing games um, and my brother's trying to tell her that that is not a relationship that that is you know a red flag and she won't listen so I just told him if she won't listen and and um and she wants to claim she's an adult, then maybe he needs to pull all of his money. I mean, he pays for her gas, he pays for her car payments, he pays for her um insurance, he pays for her college, he pays for her dorm room, he pays for um her food you know and then she comes to him for more extra gas because now she's sneaking out of town to go to go you know be with this this boy who she met online and uh well uh I, so i just told him i think the best best i think the best way to handle it is just you know if she wants to say that then let her say that but just you know stop giving her money and um so I don't know for sure what he's going to um, do, but, um, you know, he's going to, he's going to have to figure it out. And, uh, then he started telling me about his truck driving days and, um, all the different things. And I got a kick out of this one, you guys. Um, I'm going to tell you guys this cause I, I found this to be hilarious. Um, he said that, you know, there were a lot of things in his truck driving days that, you know, you don't get taught in school when you're going through trucking school. And um, he said, you know, he had to learn the hard way on this one. 
he said that when truckers go to to um, stay in the truck stops at night, um, he said his first experience was uh, he couldn't figure out because this happened night after night after night, and um, finally he found um, after months of this um, he was exhausted and. He stopped into a cafe and bumped into a fellow trucker that he knew. And he the guy said, Wow, Mike, you look um you look exhausted and he, he said he said, Yeah, I'm I'm I am. He said, Um, I've got this big problem on my hands and he said, What's that? And he said, Every time I pull into a every time I pull into the truck stops, you know, or rest areas, uh to you know, take a nap while I have my, my, you know, because they can only drive for so many hours and then they have to pull over and they have to sleep for so many hours. And um, they have to, you know, keep books on logs on how long they're driving and they if they cannot cross that, that, that time period, if if it's time for them to stop, pull over and go to sleep, they, they better be, you know, stopping and pulling over and going to sleep. Well, he said, I'm not getting any sleep. And, he, and they said, well, why is that, Mike? And he said, because every time I pull into these, you know, truck stops and these rest areas, I, I, I pull over and I start to fall asleep. And, and this, these women walk up and they knock on, on my truck window. And then they want to know if there's anything they can do for me or if, or if I want anything. And um, he says, he said, I tell them no and they leave and um, like an hour later another one comes up and he says this goes on all night long and I get no sleep and then I find it hard to you know function to drive the truck when I'm supposed to and the guy goes oh didn't anybody ever tell you the truckers rule and I and he said no and I said, what's this rule, Mike? And he goes, well, it's like this. I guess you go out and you either, if, you, if you're married, you ask your wife. Or if you have a girlfriend, you ask your girlfriend. But if you have neither one, you run to like Kmart or Walmart and you buy a bra. And you take the bra with you on the road. And then when you pull over in the truck stop, you... Roll down your window just a, a little bit, and you hang the straps out outside the window, and then you roll the windows up, and you leave the bra hanging in the window. And I said, well, "What's that do?" And he says, "Well, another hooker won't won't cross another hooker's boundaries. So if they see a bra in the window, that." That tells them that there's another broad or uh, another hooker that's in the that's in the truck with them. Now I found that very interesting. Um, that I that was hilarious. I just cracked up laughing so hard on that one. And uh, so he said he went when he went home. He asked his wife for one of her bras, one she didn't want, and she asked him why. And he said, well, because I'm not getting any sleep because the hookers are coming up to my my window. And they're knocking on my window all night long. And I tell them I don't want nothing. And they they just, you know, after one leaves, about an hour later, another one shows up. And it goes on all night long. And he says, I'm not getting any sleep. And she, she was more than happy to hand him over a bra, I guess. And... And so he started carrying that bra with him on the road. He just kept kept it in his glove box and or his toolbox or whatever. And um, yeah, I guess he just you know he took it with him every time he went on the road. So uh, he said that solved that problem. He said so every time I pulled over from here on out, I pulled over. I put that bra up there in my window. I didn't have no more women knocking on my window. <laughs> So I thought that was very, I thought that was very interesting. Um, I never knew that. So if you ever drive, if you ever out on the road and you see a semi in a truck stop or a rest area, 
and you see a bra hanging in the window guys that's what that means <laughs> and I found that to be very hilarious hey guys I had a really good day um I asked my husband on Friday night that this is now Sunday night this is Sunday um, February 9th to, uh, to 2020 um, Yesterday, February 8th, was my youngest grandbaby's second birthday. She turned two years old. She's a big girl now. And um, she's my youngest grandchild. Her name is Veda. And I wanted to show you guys a picture of Veda. Because in my last video, I, got, I, I don't know if I told you guys, but she, she is a... No, I don't think I did. Um, my daughter, um, after she had her domestic violence situation, got involved in drugs. And she ended up having a one-night uh, stand with a, a, a colored guy. And she chose the color guy because she knew that she thought it would make me mad or um, whatever. And got pregnant by this guy. While I was uh, taking care of her children, her other two children, while I was fostering her other two children, she went out and got pregnant by this guy. So, when I asked her if she was pregnant when she came to visit the kids one day, she, she came to visit the kids, and I said, you know, Alicia, you look pregnant. And I said, are you pregnant? And right away she said why by George yes I am mom I am pregnant and she goes but you're not gonna want this one and I said what do you mean I'm not gonna want this one well I really didn't want the rest of these ones either but you know what they're my grandchildren and I'm not gonna let you you know you know she wasn't coming home to them and she will you know she was gone out partying and she wasn't coming home and so I reported her and I her, her kids were taken away and I was um, made their foster mom for two and a half years because the first whole year that I had them she ran off and um, decided that partying was more important than trying to fight for her kids so the first year she spent um, not doing as she was told by CPS and they finally they told her you know you're nearing the end of your your warning period here we only give you so long to start complying and then you know they told me she was very close to the cutoff line um, when she finally got her act in gear and decided to start following commands well she didn't tell the caseworkers that she was pregnant and I figured, I found it out. I figured it out because I know what she looks like when she's pregnant. She's a big girl to begin with, but I can tell her pregnant belly from her normal belly. And, well, I'm her mom, you know. I, I, I would know. And, um, so she said, by George, I am. You're not going to want this one, though. And I said, what do you mean by that? She goes, well, this is a black baby. You're not going to want a black baby. See, what she didn't know that was that when I was in grade school, going into junior high, I w was, uh, I, I guess back then, I, mean, I don't know what you would call it, but yes, I did. I had a black boy, little boyfriend. Yes, I did. She, she didn't know that. So, um... Well, I had a crush on one, and he asked me to be his girlfriend. But my dad, my dad heard heard about it, and my dad told me uh, no. And I, I went to school, and I still stayed really good friends with this boy until we moved from Denver. But yeah, this, I, uh, you know, and she don't know. I don't. I've never told anybody about that. Not even my husband knows. <laughs> but um. Yeah, so we, I decided, you know, you know, here a couple weeks ago, she got 
mad at me because I didn't want the kids to come over because I was going in for surgery on my arm and I got a call from the school that said that Catalina was sick and she didn't want to tell me that Catalina was sick and so I texted her a message saying you know don't don't bring the kids here over the weekend don't bring the kids here if they're sick and she right away called me on the phone and said there ain't nobody here that's sick and I said I think you're lying to me and she said why why would you say that and I said because I got a phone call from the school yesterday saying Catalina needed to come home sick but they couldn't find you and they couldn't find Sean so they called me she said what did they call you for you're not on the list I had your name removed from the list and then I got mad and said well I don't want to see you I don't want to be around you anymore and um, I said don't come around no more you're not gonna use me as your free babysitter no more uh, you're gonna pull me off the list to be their and I am their grandma you know this kid Sean he is a nobody to these kids and uh, but I kind of got over it and um, I wanted to see my grandbabies and so hang on guys I need to turn the overhead fan on I'm running up Oh, there we go. That feels better. Oh, it's hot in here. Um, I'm going through menopause too, guys. So, whew, don't take much for me to start getting warmed up. And I made my, I made a hot cup of tea before I started this because I was cold. And um, yeah. So, I got over it, and I decided, you know, I decided that I wanted to see the kids. It was Veda's birthday today, uh, yesterday, and. So I had my husband, because she won't answer my call, so I had my husband try and call her and ask her if we could bring Veda over a birthday a birthday present. And she did invite us to come and have cake and ice cream. And when we got there, I was shocked because she ended up having, like, a small lunch beforehand. Um, she made, like, pigs in the... Because the kids wanted pigs in the blanket, so she made pigs in the blanket, and she made, like, a pasta salad and... um. I guess Sean's mom, her boyfriend, I guess is what you want to call him. I, I don't know. I don't really call him that. But because she's, you know, she's married to another guy, guys. Her her, her real husband is in Denver. And um, she never divorced him. And so they've been married. Oh, gosh, it's got to be close to 20 years. somewhere around in there um they ran off and secretly got married and never told me about that either but i figured it out um but um yeah so we we got over there and veda was sleeping taking a nap so i just stood there and talked to alicia for a little bit and then veda woke up and sean's mom shows up and she's like, come see me, grandbaby. And I'm like, she's not your grandbaby. She's no relation to you people. And, um... And I didn't say anything. And she she come out and she took one look and noticed me standing there. And she came running um, with her arms out. Up, 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 up. And I said, hi. Hey baby, how's grandma's baby girl? How's my precious girl? And she was like, up, up. And then she was giving me hugs and kisses. And this Sean kid, his mom, looked hurt, like butt hurt. And I'm like, what are you hurt for? You're not even their grandma. Come on, what what is the deal here, you know? You are not their grandma. I am by blood their grandma of course they're gonna know me better you know I mean I've been here and I took care of these kids for two and a half years she just got them back they are attached to me they only knew me as mom for two and a half years her their mom 
ditched him, you know. So I was excited that, you know, I, I was beginning to think that, you know, maybe the grandkids were forgetting me, you know, and, and, uh, but when I got there, these kids pretty much remote me and my husband over. They pretty much, excuse me, I needed a drink. They pretty much mowed me and my husband over to say hello to us. And I never felt so good in my whole life. So I'm sitting here with my cell phone in my hand, guys, because I wanted to show you a picture of my my grandbaby um, who just turned two today. So this is Beta. There she is. That's me. She's sitting on my lap. And her shirt says, it's my birthday. And, uh, yeah, so she's a cutie. I, I, I think I made a clip. I see here. There you go. That's a better view. Isn't she a cutie, guys? That's my, uh, that's my, my two, my youngest granddaughter. And she's Veda. And she, yes, she is half black, half white. But I think she got more of the white side. I didn't. I think she's gotten a little more of the white side. Her hair is a uh, curly. It's real curly, but it's it's soft, like really soft. I love her hair. And her mama did her hair up pretty today. A lot of times, her mom doesn't do anything with her hair. But if she comes to grandma's, she gets her hair done. Um, I thought I had one in here where she was giving grandma some lovings, but I must not have got it. Here, guys. Isn't she cute? She's so cute. She got a ball. She was loving on her ball. Grandma got her some dishes. There's a little stove set that I got for her. It's got a, a stove and then it's got like plates and silverware and stuff. And then I got her like a tea, I got her like a, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's pretty dark. Um, but there's like a, a full set uh, plates, forks, knives. And then I got her this set here that she's holding here. It's um, a mixer, a blender, and a... Um, coffee maker and the coffee maker really does brew it it brews and drips um so if she if she puts water or tea or kool-aid or something in it it will really drip through as if it's making um making the product it has a little button that you hold and it makes it um brew through and the mixer really does have a blade in it that spins it's not a metal blade, it's just a little plastic blade, um, rubber. It's like a rubber blade. Um, safe for kids, uh, it was marked for her age. Um, and the kids were taking like all these little play fruits. That's a pear. That's, well, let's see, you guys can't. See that green thing right there? That's a, that's a pear. And um, she was taking the pear, putting it in, they were taking it and putting it into the blender and watching it. It looked like popcorn popping inside the blender and it was hitting the lid and it finally hit the lid and would fly out and the kids would just laugh and laugh and laugh. This is my daughter here guys. This is the one that's hooked on the drugs. She's um that's my daughter. Um that's my uh, arm. That's my incision from my surgery guys. That's what my incision looks like. So let's see here. So there she is looking at the stove. There she is with her ball. Her ball. She's still playing with her ball. Her ball again. She got a little unicorn from her mom. And then there's the there's the teacup set that I got for her. So I got her the mixer and blender and, and that. On the coffee maker. I also got her a tea set. And I got her a set with plates. And then I got her a set with pots and pans. So she got a full kitchen play set. These are some, um, her mom only believes in getting them clothes. So 
they only get clothes from her mom. You can kind of see the pots and pans over here. Let's see. See, you could kind of see the lids right there on the pots and pans. Um, her mom got her a little mermaid uh, toy for the bathtub. There she is um, packing some of her presents. She got a little skirt set. She got a little skirt set there. All sparkly. And there's the pants that go with it. There's my little Veda sitting on my lap. He says, it's my birthday. I couldn't get her to smile. I was trying to get her to smile. Here the picture's really dark, but um, they shut the lights off so she could see the candles. And as you can see, there's two candles there. And she's sitting back over here. There she is. Did you see her there? She's like trying to figure out okay she got her hands up on her face she's like trying to figure out okay how do I blow out the candles so her mom blew them out for her and then she was like not too happy she she wanted to blow the, <laughs> she wanted to blow her own candles out so there she is playing with some of the pots and pans and stuff at the table and there's her cake and then she's playing with some more of the pots and pans that's my husband guys <laughs> he's looking old <laughs> But he's my he's my cutie. There's my grandson Rocco. He was being silly. Grandma said smile, and he wouldn't smile. So we got him a picture there. There he is. There making a fish face. He did his own hair this morning, guys. He put a whole bunch of coconut lotion in his hair. <laughs> he smelt like a big coconut. Isn't he cute? That's our little Rocco. He's so attached to my husband. He calls my husband Tava. There's little Veda Boo. Isn't she cute, you guys? That's my little Veda Boo. There she goes. Sneaking past mommy. That's my little birthday girl. That's Veda Boo. She's two years old to yesterday. There she is eating her birthday cake. Eating her cake. I said, is it yummy? She's sitting on my lap, guys. So I was taking these with her on my lap. Look at her. Isn't she cute? <laughs> Eating her cake. <laughs> she had cake on her face. <laughs> so I didn't think I was going to get to see my grandkids. And uh, I was shocked she allowed me. And that's the last one, guys. I was shocked she allowed me to come and, you know, get pictures of the kids. Because last time I was there, she did not allow me to do pictures. She 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 was like, I was taking, uh, it was uh, Rocco and, and Catalina's birthday, and I was taking pictures of the kids. And she got very upset with me and was asking me why I was taking pictures. And I thought, you know what really upset me, though, you guys? Uh, what really upset me today was Rocco was like, Grandpa, you got to see this. And he disappeared for a few seconds. And then all of a sudden he come out of his mom's room with a hatchet, you guys. A hatchet. Um, he said, this cut me. And I was like, I went running over there and I grabbed his hurry up and I I was like what are you doing with this and I was like Alicia where did he get this what I was like Alicia this is a real hatchet and it looked sharp guys it looked extremely sharp and this little the, Rocco's four years old you guys and and then she proceeded on top of that to tell us that Rocco's getting into everything and she doesn't know how to put anything up anymore because because Rocco came out in the middle of the night and, you know and she she does she does weed all night long guys so you know damn well she's I've I've seen her she's out so cold that she, they could make all the noise in the world she wouldn't hear it okay so, I guess Rocco's been getting out of his bed and he's been sneaking food in the middle of the night, helping himself to whatever's in the refrigerator and, 
you know, and cupboards and whatnot. And so I guess the other night, he helped himself to the medicine cabinet, you guys. He found some, su some Sudafed or something like that, and he took four tablets. Four tablets, you guys. Four to five tablets. She counted um, missing out of the pack. And I'm like, did you take him to the doctor or anything? And she said, no. He was okay. You guys. I so badly want to report that. I so badly want to report that. I don't know if I should or if I shouldn't. What do you guys think? Do you think I should report that to the caseworker? Um... I don't know. I don't know what to do about it, but that made me mad. That made me it made me mad that she's not paying attention, you know. Um first of all, I was told all medicines are supposed to be in a lockbox. So when they were living with me, I had to have a padlock. I put them in a um all we had was a coffee table that had two drawers underneath of it. And what I did was I took the I took that and I put um I installed great big heavy duty padlock on the drawers of my coffee table now. I I mean this daughter's the one who gave me the coffee table so I figured it didn't matter if I destroyed it. <laughs> so um yeah, so I drilled holes in it and I installed padlocks on the coffee table and that's where I kept my husband's meds um all the meds I kept them in the in in those two locked up drawers and then I also put um child safety locks on all the cabinets um on my bathroom mirror on um my bathroom closet I put on the, the, the handles that spin. They couldn't figure them out. Um, they couldn't figure out how to make them so they didn't spin so they could turn the knob. And I also put a lock way up at the top. But you guys, she, she didn't know until the next morning that he took this. He had, he had been hours with this, this medicine in his system. She's lucky, by the hair of her chin, she's lucky that the kid did not OD. Oops, make sure I'm getting the right symbol here. Um, oh, you guys, I just, I don't know how to, I don't know what to do about that situation. I, I told her she needed to get a locked cabinet uh, or a lock box or something to put all the meds in um, from here on out and I, I want to know why she has a hatchet in her bedroom knowing that she has little children around it obviously was within his reach because he come running out of the room with it and running nonetheless I about had a heart attack, you guys. I, uh, just for the, you know, to update you guys, I'm still doing the Under the Sea Dreaming canvas that I won from Shine Like a Diamond in a contest in her live one night. Um, I am probably three quarters of the way done with it. Um, I think I got most of the hair done. I got, well, I've still got some of the face to do and the mid belly, um, the big, the belly to do. Um, I'm working on the leaves and plants over here. And I got all the hair and bubbles and everything done on this whole one side over here on the right, on the uh, right hand side. <coughs> So mainly I just have this area here to do and then this area here to do and a little on her face. So that's all I've got left to do. Um, I'm trying to make it last because um, my 
custom still has not come yet from ever mo uh, from ever moment um I'm still I'm still waiting or no from pretty neat creative from pretty neat creative um still waiting for my custom that I had designed pretty much myself and sent in to them kind of in a poster form of me and my husband on one side of the canvas and my four grandchildren to the side of us um and I chose my favorite pictures of each one of them at the age of one and a half so everyone all four of them are i chose one picture that was my favorite of each one of them at the age of one and a half so this ought to be very cool they never told me they couldn't do it they didn't tell me you know anything they supposedly just did it the way I sent it in so I never had any comments come back to me that they couldn't do it or that they needed to change anything or that it wasn't doable of any you know that I that I that it wasn't doable or um, that it anything like that so I'm really really excited for it to get here it's been sitting in Chicago since last Monday um, my daughter said she she figured it should be here by this Monday. So I'm hoping that tomorrow, being tomorrow is Monday, I'm hoping that tomorrow my pretty neat and creative custom, and I did it in a pretty large size, guys. So um, I am really excited and and I'm hoping that it's very confetti heavy um because i am a confetti lover i like confetti because without confetti you guys confetti is what gives you your detail okay just like in cross stitch in cross stitch confetti gives you your your detail if you look at a really heavy detailed chart in cross stitch it's the same aspect to diamond painting the more com confetti that it is the more detail the picture has and I when I am cross stitching this is why I got very bored with cross stitching um, easy projects because easy projects meant no confetti so I had to give up doing cross stitch projects that were um, simple or mediocre. They had to they had to be the more you know because I've been cross stitching since I was the age of ten or twelve years old somewhere in there, and I'm telling you, I got very bored with it after a while and so back in 1998 when I got my very first computer I went out to Hobby Lobby or a hobby store um, I was thinking it was Hobby Lobby when they very very first opened up um, I went running out there and I was looking at computer software for cross stitching the, at that time they sold it right there in the store and I picked up one that was called um, um, let's see Here, hang on mine is called pattern maker it's called Pattern Maker. And I've had it since 1998, you guys. And it's still going strong. Um, There was a year or two 
when we went through a couple of um, upgrades on the computer and that that it wasn't working and um, then I downloaded um, what was the name of that it was a program that helped you um, update um, links and our um, driver detective that's the name of it I downloaded driver detective and driver detective went through and it found all the new drive all the new drivers and um, everything that was missing for the new computer that I had so um, so then through driver detective driver detective got my pattern maker up and running again and so it's been running strong ever since I've had no problems just as long as the Windows keeps updating although I'm having problems with Windows 10 right now Windows 10 does not want to upgrade some of the new updates and they're critical updates and I can't get it to, to do them um, it just keeps telling me that there's stuff that's missing and I, I can't figure it out I'm thinking what I'm going to have to do is get everything off or backed up on my computer and um, have it go back down not completely to the you know I, I'm, I'm not thinking like a clean install but a partial install which will remove some applications and whatnot off my screen and so I need to make sure I back everything up before I I do this process on my computer um, but yeah it was drivers driver detective that got my pattern maker up and running and um, so what I started doing was making my own patterns um, full like off of baby off of my kids baby pictures um, pictures when my mom passed away in 2011 um, I was heartbroken and so I um, started cross stitching a lot of my mom's um, high school photos uh, the only couple of few that we had known about and then um, when I went to see my dad there were some of my mom's whack pictures um, she used to she used to be in the army until she had her her mental breakdown but she was a whack in the army for about a year before she had um, a nervous breakdown and then she got an honorable discharge uh, but um, yeah so um, I started cr cross stitching some of those things and then after that my pictures started getting bigger and bigger and more detail more detail till now they're almost like poster size crap um, well I'm kind of doing the same thing with the diamond painting I want them big I want them detailed like super detailed I want them to be not be easy to do I want them to be you know I want them to last me a long time to do so that I have plenty to do because I won't have a lot of money to to keep buying lots and lots and lots of charts so right now I'm up to two or three I'm two or three ahead that I have ordered plus I've got one coming for next month I ordered one from Rachel out of um, Treasure Studio Arts because I want to try something from all these different um, I what I've been trying to do what I came up with was that I wanted to try and do um, one custom from each 
place that does customs but when I when I came up with this idea I wanted to start with Di Diamond Art Club but then Diamond Art Club was no longer doing customs because I don't know something went wrong with their customs or something I don't know I didn't quite understand it um cuz I'm new to the community and I didn't quite understand what the what the deal was with that but um I've been watching and watching and watching for Diamond Art Club to open up their customs and they just weren't doing it and I got tired of waiting I I I was like well you know what I I'm I'm not I'm not waiting on Diamond Diamond Art Club no more um they just they lose they lose out um I'm just going to I'm going to go elsewhere so the next place I went was pretty neat and creative because I heard um I was hearing some pretty good and seeing some pretty good results from Pretty Neat Creative through others in the community. So, um, Laura Law um, is a an affiliate with Pretty Neat and Creative, and I wanted I was going to use her her uh, her link, but a thing came up on my screen. And it gave me, I think hers was what, like 10 or 15 percent. It was giving me 20 or 25 percent off, and I couldn't pass that up. I, I couldn't pass that up, and I'm sorry, Laura, but I will, I will, um, I will probably be ordering from Pretty Neat and Creative again because I was thrilled with them. And I'm hoping that the picture comes, you know, I've seen how all the um, paintings that you have designed are coming out. So I can only imagine what my custom is going to look like when it gets here. And I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. I can't wait for it to get here. It's just getting here it's just taking its sweet sweet time which is really starting to upset me um because because i ordered this custom from them back on uh january 3rd that's our payday i live off of um I live off of um, Medicare. I live off of Medicare because I have a back injury and it took me many a years to prove my injury and many of doctors to back me up. Um, my age helped a lot too because I was told that turn my turn my turning 50 50 is their cutoff if you get to 50 and you're still fighting for your disability you, you automatically win because a lot of jobs if you have a, an injury and you hit the age of 50 they're not going to hire you anyway I was told that most businesses will not hire anyone that has any kind of injuries and they hit the age of 50 or older um, because they're too much of a risk for these companies to take on and so they automatically um, more or less gave me gave in and let me have my my dis my disability but I fought it for almost 10 years you got excuse me guys I was drinking some hot tea I only had a few sips and uh, I uh, get the hiccups after I eat or drink because of my weight loss surgery. So excuse me if that happens. I don't mean for it to. Kind of rude, I know. But that's just part of the surgery. and Something that i gotten used to. But it might take you guys some getting used to. So I don't mean to do it. Um, well, anyway, back to my story. So I really love how the pretty neat and creative canvases are, are looking on Laura's on Lord's um 
If you guys haven't seen any canvases from Pretty Neat Creative, go over to Laura Law's um, page and check her out because um, Laura Law has lots of canvases that she has done for um, customs. She just got done doing a really neat custom of her and her husband. So, um, and it came out looking, I couldn't tell pretty much. I mean, if you, I couldn't tell the picture from the, from the diamond painting, tell you the truth. They, they came, it came out looking that good. Um, I, I was impressed. I was highly impressed. Now I, I am so excited to get my, my custom now because I'm hoping my custom looks that good, Laura. If you're listening and if you watch my video, Laura, I'm hoping that my custom comes out that good. I'm thrilled. And then I have a custom that's sitting... Well, the story behind that one is I saw everybody in the community getting uh, free paint-by-number kits offered to them. And I didn't understand how they were, like, choosing the people that they were offering these kits to. And, I mean, everybody, I mean, everybody in the community was coming up with a, with a paint-by-number kit. And, um, and I was like, well, I'm a creator in the community. How come I getting an offer for that? And, um, so I talked to several of the other creators and they were telling me that they were just getting sent to them. Um, they were just getting it sent to them in their email. Uh, they were being emailed and asked if they wanted to do it, do one, you know? And so... And so I decided to look the site up and I wrote a letter to them and I asked them, I explained to them that I'm a fairly new channel, um, new creator, but that I was looking for some content for my channel and I gave them my channel link and I asked them if there was any way that I could get a paint by number kit from them and in and I asked them if it could be a custom um, paint by number and I'm not sure how you say your name El Elvena Elvena um if I'm destroying your name Elvena I'm sorry um not good with pronun pronunciations of names um but she contacted me back and sent me a letter back saying that the kit that you know what the program was all about and um she had asked me she explained to me how it worked and then she invited me to asked me if I was still willing to want to try one and I thanked her and I said you know my I, I certainly am I I said um and she she sent me another email saying that could to go ahead and send her in some pictures and I made a poster um from my cat uh, the cat that passed away a few years ago. Well, I guess he's been gone. I guess he's been gone about three, three or four years now. Um, well, let's see. I had my weight loss surgery 2014. So he's been gone about four and a half years now. Yeah, four and about four and a half. And um and I picked out some really cool pictures and made like a 
like I did with my picture for Pretty Neat Creative. I made a small poster of the cat pictures. And um, she said that she couldn't do them that way. That they didn't make good material for diamond painting. Um, and um, she asked me to narrow it down to just one picture out of the, all the pictures to choose just one picture well I figure you know that's fine I could I I, I go you know I, I figured it couldn't hurt to try right and um so I just said that's fine and and I you know I told her which one I wanted her to do and I sent it off to her and then I got a reply back from her saying that the picture that they were able to make the they were able to make the um, canvas, but it might be a, a hair bit blurry. Well, I didn't quite understand what, what she's talking about because the picture that I sent her was crisp, you know, pretty clear. Um, it was dark in spots, but I mean, I don't know. I it looked crystal clear to me, and so I decided to pull put that. After she sent me that email, I decided to put that picture in my pattern maker. And I put it at all the same sizes as the one I ordered from her. Oh, I what I did, guys, was um, it was supposed to be in for a paint by number, right? Well, I asked her, I contacted her back and I asked her if I could change it from a from a custom paint by number to a to a custom um diamond painting instead and she said yes just remember you got to keep 55 centimeters on the shortest side of the canvas so I said you know so I told her I wanted a 55 by 78 or something like that by 75 or something like that and um and she came back and said okay she said we'll do that so um So she said it was going to be a little bit blurry. And I just told her to go ahead and do it, you know, because I wanted to see the difference between the what she's calling blurry or how they come up with the canvas compared to what I did on my computer and um all in the same dimensions that I gave to her. And I figured it up, and I'm not sure how many colors she's planning on using, but I was just guessing and went with 40 or 45 colors, okay? I even done it in 30, 35 colors, you guys, and it looked great to me. Uh, it did not look blurry. It came out crystal clear. I showed it to my daughter. My daughter thought it looked clear um, on my computer. So I'm really excited to get this this um, Victoria Moon um, painting to see what the clarity is um, that she's talking that was blurry. I don't understand why it would be blurry. So that one should be coming any day now too because I ordered that on the 3rd as well. So that should be coming any time now too I I managed to get them ordered before this the Chinese New Year started and so I'm I was hoping that they you know cuz she told me she mailed it back out both companies mailed it back out within a day or two of me putting the order in I was already getting confirmation from both of them that that it was already back out into the mail but I have not received neither one of them yet Um can't wait for them to get here though look you guys it's it's exciting um first of all to to have my very first custom come in i'm i'm so excited i just i can't wait and it's just taking forever to get here um so then i decided to get a hold of rachel um so I went over to um, Treasure Studio Art because I was on Nana 
I think it's Nana of Seven Crafts. Um, I was on her live one night when Rachel from Treasure Studio Arts came in and said that she was going to give discount to anyone who purchased diamond paintings and was willing to wait for the coronavirus all clear be you know um and so i decided i got to thinking and i asked my husband if i could order yet another custom and on this one i did my my cat my kitty cat that i have now i i did a poster um and I sent it off to Rachel thinking that um I was going to get to purchase put in the purchase for it. Um I didn't know quite how that worked with with pretty neat creative. I was able to pay for it right then and there when I submitted it. And um but it didn't work like that when I was on uh Treasure Studio Art site. So I wrote in the comment thing I wrote to you know to Rachel that this was the poster I was telling her about in one of the lives that I wanted to have done as a custom and she was like well she sent me back about 24 hours later she sent me back a, a notice that said that it was the background that I chose was kind of busy and it was I, I I agree it was very busy and she said it kind of took away from the kitties and I said yes I agree I agree I agree um I don't know I don't have a degree in this stuff I was just putting it together and to me it looked good at the time but then after she said that you know brought my attention to some of the things I, I could see what she was saying. She was saying that a couple of the photos that I had in there of the kitty look stretched. And um, that she could fix it. But I they weren't my favorite photos of the cat. The ones that she was talking about. So I totally took those, those photos. When she asked me to send all the separate photos. I took those, those couple that were stretched. I just... I didn't send them to her because I didn't really care for them anyway. They weren't my favorites. And so, and then I had a couple of regular shots of him on there um, that were much larger than the, than the others. Uh, I was playing with filters on my phone over Christmas, and there were some really cute filters that I really liked, and I was just doing them with him one night. Um... To be honest with you, I was in the bathtub at the time and my phone was laying there and he came in through the doorway and I was just kind of going through cleaning up my phone uh, and whatnot and the filters came on and by, by accident. I didn't even realize my phone had those filters in there. And so I got to, I got to like, well, these are cool. And so I looked over, you know, I kind of turned it toward Mickey and and it put like this hair bow this like glittery hair bow on his head gave him these cute pink cheeks with a great big heart kiss on his cheek and I just totally fell in love with playing with those filters that night and I, I don't know how many shots I got I didn't even send her half of them um, but yeah I got him as a chef and I got him as a cowboy I got him as a girl with a you know pink bow and a kiss on his cheek um to a hipster dude with you know chains around his neck and some funky hat on his head and sunglasses on his eyes uh, um I didn't send that one to her but I, I I like that one but I didn't send that to her um, but she liked the posters. She said it was cute, but she didn't want to do them all with the filters. So she asked me to, because I didn't send her in the pictures, the plain ones. I just sent her four or five of the 
the ones with the filters and she said well the filters are cute and all but I think that we need to add a couple of the regular shots could you resend me the regular shots I don't know that I'll put them in but um, in case I do I would like to have them here and I was like yeah so I not only sent her a couple I sent her four of them four of my favorite shots of him and um, two of the shots that I sent her was of him laying on my diamond painting and on one picture he's holding my he's holding the clear film back and I posted it in one in group, a couple of the groups that I'm in I posted it that he's my new cover minder and uh, so I'm kind of hoping she chooses one of those but um, yeah so after I discussed this with Rachel and everything I asked her if she could take her time to, to develop this poster because I explained to her that at the time I went and ordered you know was putting in the order for it I had the money for for the to order it but then I had my arm surgery and everything and all the meds all the you know and, and I had to go see the doctor the other day and they put me on more meds so and they were meds that my Medicare won't pay for um, and they're high dollar and so I asked Rachel if there was any way she could go really slow at putting it together and um, give me till next month to pay for it and um, she said yes we can do that she goes I've got several others ahead of you anyway um, so I would be more than happy to to accommodate you in that way and I was like oh great yeah, she doesn't I, I honestly she doesn't know how relieved I was that she was willing to do that and um and I told her I'm in no hurry to get it because I do know I've got these other two customs and it's going to be a while before I could get to it put it together anyway so um and plus I've got a snack painting up there that's a medium sized snack painting so um you know I've got others ahead that I can do while I'm waiting for it and so I Turned, turned around and I I, I wrote, wrote back to her and I asked her if there's any way and Nana I sure hope you watch my videos because I did this to help you out love um, I asked Miss Rachel if there's any way I could still I know that the code is only good till like the 29th of February for the 20% off um, I asked her if there's any way she would still honor that code next month when she gets done and ready to charge me for the painting and I asked her to make it big enough that it looks really really good detail and whatnot and she's gonna die design me a whole new poster with a whole new background um from the one that I chose she's gonna do it all differently than what I you know what I had there but she kind of has an idea of what I'm going for so uh, I can't wait to see what she does with it so I'm so excited to get that to get that um, ball rolling but yeah I'm gonna pay for that hopefully I'm going to pay for that this next well I'm going to pay for it this next month and she is going to allow me to use Nana's code. So Nana, I will get to use your 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 twenty percent off code for that painting um, when Rachel's done with it. So she's going to go ahead and honor that for me. So I'm very excited about that. Um, so that is another custom that I have in the wings that it's that's coming and I asked her to do that in as many colors as she can can do it um because I want it to be colorful and I want it to be detailed so I love my kitties and 
this is my the first kitty that you'll see is Scotchy and he's the one that patched, passed away he's an orange and yellow striped cat and then the other cat is Mickey Mickey is a tuxedo cat so you guys will get to meet and see Mickey Mickey Mouse and Mickey doesn't like getting his pictures taken guys but I was able to get some good ones of him and I think you guys are gonna laugh your butts off when you see them so I'm hoping Rachel chooses some of my favorite ones I didn't tell her which ones my favorite ones was but I'll be surprised even if she doesn't it's okay it's okay cuz they're all of my Mickey and I love my Mickey so let's see well I've been at this for an hour and ten minutes guys I think it's time to go ahead and close um, I hope you guys weren't bored to death of what I talked about here tonight um, but yeah I was so excited about Veda's birthday and that I got to go and that I got to see all my grandbabies my oldest uh, my oldest granddaughter she didn't come out to get her picture taken and she's usually my picture taker queen so I was shocked she wasn't ever around when I was taking pictures so she didn't get involved she didn't get her picture taken today which was very highly unusual but that's okay because I asked if they could come over next weekend so hopefully they'll get to come and spend the night with grandma for two nights next weekend I'm hoping and so that will probably mean I'll be only I won't be diamond painting while they're here because um, the last time they were here and I was diamond painting Catalina dropped my drills everywhere on the floor so I won't be diamond painting because I don't want to play 5,000 drill pickup anymore um, I have a brown carpet and these little tiny drills they go down into the fibers of the carpet and I can't find them and I don't want to ever do that again so I will not be diamond painting on weekends when my grandkids are ever around um, because diamond painting means a lot to me and drills are precious the few that you have and um, I know there are people out there that allow their kids to to do diamond painting and I tried to do it with Catalina but then she kept dropping them not only once but twice on the carpet I just about had enough of that so um, yeah so I had to, to put the drills up but I'm gonna let you guys go here and I'm gonna go watch me some more of your guys's videos and I want to say hi and thank you to all my new subscribers and I want to thank Mrs. Coffee for um, putting up with me and my um, learning disabilities <laughs> um, you guys when I didn't understand Mrs. Coffee I made my video the very next morning from when Mrs. Coffee made the announcement that she would honor our videos for one week she gave us a challenge for one week to get our, our videos in to her to put up on our channel and um, I was very quick on the draw to make my video and I actually had it up on my channel for four days you know for even maybe five days um, prior to her her live when she announced we only had two or three hours left to get our videos into her and I've been looking all week long Mrs. Coffee and didn't understand what you meant by your business page and then when they put the link to your business page it went to your Facebook well I didn't see anything in your Facebook where to put it so you guys I I just messaged her message her and I just sent her the link through messenger and I was very worried that it was just not going to be in, in time and I fretted and I fretted and um, she did include my video so uh, I want to thank you mrs. coffee from the bottom of my heart for you putting up with all my crap 
you're a good friend and I, I love you dearly and um, don't you ever go away because if you weren't in this community I would be totally lost because you are the most friendliest and most I, I, you're very helpful to me um, you are very quick to help me when I need it and I really appreciate your help to no end and you know if you ever have any suggestions for me Mrs. Coffee on how I can better myself I will listen to you um, I will do my darndest to try and listen to you and sometimes I can make sense out of things and then there's other times I'm like okay she said business page where is her business page <laughs> I was looking and looking. I kept telling my husband, what is her business? Tell me what her business page is, Dad, dear. You know, tell me. Tell me, love, where's her business page? And he tried to help me, and he's like, I don't know. And I was like, I don't know either. I'm lost. So, and then I've got all these new subscribers coming in um, with Mrs. Coffee's help. I mean, it's not like a lot of them, but from day to day, I'm getting a couple more and a couple more. And I've gotten some really nice comments from some of you, and I love you guys too. Um, I really thank you all for taking the time to listen to me. I am a very long-winded person. I love to talk. It's because I don't have anybody here to talk to other than my husband and um it's very rare i get to have the grandkids come around so um so that's the reason i got involved with the, the diamond art community was because i was down and out and um depressed with everything that's going on here and there was a friend in in my in my game group on facebook who told me that she did diamond art and she gave me a link to her Facebook group and I was looking through a lot of the stuff there and that's when I started looking up on YouTube and came across I think my very first person that I I want to say the first person that I watched was um Ella kicking cancer's butt I think was the very first video that I found and then I think it was um GB Maltese and then Rachel Ray and then Mrs. Coffee and then from there it just blossomed um how I found the rest of everybody else was through lives was through um whipping chats was through unboxings um and i just subscribe to everybody and his brother i mean if i see you up there and you look like somebody i haven't subscribed to yet i subscribe to you so um there are a lot a lot a lot of people that i'm subscribed to and there's a lot a lot of people's videos that i watch and um I almost can't find the time in a day to watch all the videos that are out there but if you put up a video and I'm subscribed to you just know that I will watch your videos and I always comment I am a commenter I, even if it's one or two words I will always leave you a comment um, I love you all you all are awesome people. I love everyone in this community. Um, this has been such a wonderful experience for me. And if you're out there and you don't make videos and you don't get involved, you really ought to try it. Um, yeah, there are some negative people out there. But you just block them and you keep on going. And so that's... I mean, I've, I've had on my weight loss channel lots of negative Nancys come to my weight loss channel. And I just blocked them. I blocked them and I just moved on. Or I reported them to, to YouTube, you know. And then I just moved on. Um, you're going to find them. 
you're never going to be able to ex escape them 100%. Um, but the best advice, advice I could give you is to at least try it. You can always decide you don't want to do it. But you have to do more than one video. You have to try and do a few videos um, before you make your final decision. Because I'm telling you that this community is the best community out there that I know of. Um, they're all loving. They're all kind. They're all helpful. Um, they're very knowledgeable. They will answer any questions that you throw at them. Um, you just have to be willing to get in there and jump in and just put your your all and your mind to what you're doing and pay attention to how they do it. I'm still trying to work on um, how to do intros and I don't know what you would call it, but outros and um, and I haven't quite figured out the cards yet. Uh, I do. I think I did see it in your YouTube Creator Studio. I think there it tells you how to do ca the cards. I just haven't quite gone into it yet and figured it all out. So I'm working on on slowly learning all this stuff. I'm just doing it slowly. Um, but I do want to improve. I do want to get my content um, much better. I just need to get. Um, I just need to get my channel established and get my artworks coming in because on my channel I only want to do customs so from after this you're going to mostly see I'm not saying it's going to be 100% customs but you're going to mostly see customs from here on out and I love confetti so I'm going to pick projects that are very confetti ridden and I don't know if I like doing multi placers so far with this this I've been doing this whole painting just with a single placer and one of these days I'm going to break down and get me a pin or win me a pin I'm trying to get Crashly to make me an elephant pin Miss Crashly so yes um she she had asked in 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 one of her uh lives one night she she had asked anybody for ideas on what she could make that she hasn't done already and I want I threw out elephant I think everybody copied me after that but I threw out that I wanted her to make an elephant an elephant pen diamond painting pen um if you haven't seen Crashly's um pens you really ought to need you ought, you ought to check out her her channel um, she's got a new game show on her channel too on Sunday nights that's really kind of cool and her and her husband put this game show together and it's getting better every week so um, I had asked them last week if there was any way they could slow down the credits and uh, Miss Crashly tonight when they rolled the credits I noticed it was going much slower and it was extremely readable and I loved it so I immediately commented up there yay you guys listen to me you slowed it down and she had commented back that they had did that just for me so <laughs> that really made me feel good so um yeah I I'm glad I, I I'll tell you if I think it need you know if it needs improved somewhere but that was the only place I could see that it needed improvement was that there was something I was thinking about asking her to do. There, On the Johnny Carson show, there was this um, section that he used to do on the Johnny Carson show where he used to do the wizard thing. And, um, yeah, I should find the Johnny Carson show and see if I can't throw that suggestion out to her to play that on her show. But I thought that would be fun. To do um, some night on her show so uh, if I volunteer to be on it 
that's I think a game that I would want to play with her on that show that night so that would be pretty cool so you guys I'm gonna let you go here I've been talking years off for an hour and a half um, I think I got a lot of content covered in this video tonight I'm working on under the sea dreaming if you're just now coming in I've been working on under the sea dreaming I am doing her her tail so this is her tail and it's going up into her fin up here and this is her belly here up in well you can't see it so this is her belly up in here this is all I've got left is just this little part right through here and then down through here this is all I've got left all the others up around the top is all done so I'm getting there and I'm doing it with one a one placer I am doing this whole thing with just a one placer you guys and I'd love to get me a pin because these kinda are starting to make my knuckles hurt <laughs> They're starting to make my knuckles feel cramped and yeah already have a lot of problems with my left hand and numbness from my surgery and everything and they said that's gonna take about three 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 months to a year for all that feeling to kind of regenerate into my hand so I got a long ways to go with the numbness in my hand but at least it's not the burning lightning bolt feeling that I was getting before surgery I was you I had to trim all my nails I couldn't wear I can't wear false nails I had to trim all my nails way down I had long nails guys I had nails clear out to here I had to trim them all down because of the numbness in my fingers so I ended up having to do it with both hands although on this hand a few of them are starting to grow back out so but yeah I needed to keep them even but I was hoping maybe I could get some false nails on but I'm starting to get arthritis in my fingers guys look at how my finger curls you see that that's arthritis My brother saw my finger the other day and he was like, What the heck is going on with your finger? I said, It's called arthritis. It's starting to go its own direction. <laughs> Can't point with it no more. It points off to. <laughs> but yeah, that's arthritis. So I'm going to let you guys go here. Thanks for sticking around. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers. Love you all. Love everybody in this community. Um, Y'all have a good night, and I will see you again in the, my next video or in one of your live chats, or I'll be watching your um, videos and commenting. Uh, if you don't do videos uh, and you watch my videos, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're welcome here, and um, I'm hoping that my chats will get better and better as I get more and more used to doing it. Right now I'm fairly new and, and you know talking subjects are hard for me to come up with but I'm hopefully, um, hopefully I'm getting uh, a little better at it. So I still have a long ways to go because my, my, um, my chats want to be two hours long. So. <laughs> So, I'm sorry about that, but you guys wanted some whipping chats, and hopefully, you know, I talked um, a little more clearly this time, and not so confusing. I do tend to jump around. I'll try and get better at that. I know there are a lot of things I need to correct and, and, and fix, like my ums, ums. I'm working on that, too. So, I think I'm going to end it here. I love you all, and I will talk to you all later. I love you. Mwah. Goodbye. Have a good night. Good sleep. Uh, if you're watching this during the daytime, good morning. Hello. Um, I'll talk to you all later. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.